Hi, so I'm sure that lots of you have come up with imaginative ways of killing boredom in the last year. And one of the ways that you might have thought is playing board games. Anything from Monopoly to Catan to chess, etc. Now, of course, playing your favorite board game in English is even more fun, but you might need some vocabulary to go along with it so that you don't look out of place, okay? The first expression you might use is, hey, let's place the board. And place the board obviously means to open the board and put the pieces on it. If it's a chessboard, of course, you put the white pieces on one side and the black pieces on the other side, okay? The next expression you might use is, of course, whose turn is it? Now, of course, if you're playing chess, you might not use this because it's a two-player game. But if it's a multiplayer game, such as Monopoly, where there are five or six players, then, of course, you might get lost as to whose turn it is next, all right? Then we have, of course, to roll the dice. Now, we use the word dice, whether it's one dice or two dice, it doesn't really matter, okay? So if it's your turn, you say, hey, I need to roll the dice. Some people roll the dice by giving it a little bit of extra luck. They might blow into it or something like that to make it, I don't know, looking for double sixes, double fives, etc. Okay, so rolling the dice can be a bit of fun as well. And when you do roll the dice, you do need to do something else. You need to move your counter. Now, going back to Monopoly, your counter, of course, is the little statuette that you have that you move around the board. I believe you have a little hat, or an iron, or indeed a little car. It's kind of funny. And the final thing we talk about is, of course, an hourglass, okay? An hourglass is this small little hourglass full of sand, okay? That generally dictates an amount of time that you have to do an activity. We use it in games such as Pictionary, where you have to draw something and the other person has to guess what you're drawing. You turn the hourglass and when the sand reaches the bottom and there's no more sand left, your time is up. So, that's it, and may the best player win.